Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the garden. Now, it's very overcast today, it's a lovely day without the sun and it's actually good growing weather today. The plants will grow better in this. Now something a little bit different this week or today anyway, uh, we're going to do a little service on the sprayer now I do I do actually have two knapsack sprayers but I've stopped using those now they're a little bit heavy when you get five gallons of water in them this is the one I actually use for weed killing that's just on the drive at the top of the cottage and around the cottage don't really use it down the garden but it needs a service last time I used it this button was getting a little bit sticky so it's it's ready for a service so we'll give it a service now quite simple first thing we do take the plunger out this is what pushes the air in to push the liquids out now these are basically I'll show you it's just a tube with a rod that goes in it and that little thing at the bottom is like a plastic spring the only thing that might go here is this ring here that's o-ring you can you buy sets of those you can soon replace that the other thing i'll just get another cloth so i don't want to get that cloth dirty to give that a wipe i didn't really want to use that cloth because that's my clean one for when we get to the final bits all you have to do with this really is give it a good clean and then I'll show you where these little vents there and there they're the ones that let the air backwards and forwards inside the cylinder as you're pumping it so you need to clean those out quite straightforward dirty old thing just clean what you can like that that's it do the rubber o-ring and just above it because as it pulls back as you can see as it pulls back there'll be a lot of dirt on it should have had a little brush dye i think would have been better never mind there you go that's that clean you can't actually do anything to the tube itself there is a, a rubber plunger in the bottom so as you push it in that lets the air through and as you pull back it closes it's like a, what we call a clack valve in there we'll just clean the thread at the top look then that's that piece finished Makes you wonder where all the dirt come from. But then again, no wonder the valve was sticking. Put that back together now. <laughs> Looks good. That's that done. Oh, it's on lockdown. Look, that's it. And then that turns and locks, so that's safe. Now we come to the the main piece now to do it we need to take this off the top the green piece not difficult just give it a, a short sharp pull he says there it is it's only held by these little tags here so be careful as you pull don't break your tags we'll give that just a wipe There you go. More cobwebs in there than than dirt, but we'll just wipe it round. A little bit inside because if you're not careful that will go into your spray and that's what blocks the bones up. That's that done. The pressure gauge I do not remove because I think if we upset that it'll uh, it'll leak then 
the pressure release valve, take that off. That's just a spring that goes up and down and releases the air out the top. So if we compress it if you can and just clean that. Now there is, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try and get it. Can you see that there's a little tiny o-ring there? If that's if that breaks, you just take the clip off the bottom, take the spring off, take that out and renew the o-ring. And that's that one done. Pop that in there for a moment. This is the pipe that lets the liquids to the sprayer. We'll just take this off now. You'll find that if it's a sealed at one end. Chickens are in good voice today. And make sure that's clean in there. Those few bits in there I should just rinse out with some cold water, that would be fine. Now we've took the inner tube out, if you like, that lifts the spray up to, for the lance. And at the end, there's a little nozzle which you take off. If you look through it up at the light, you can see if there's any dirt in it. If there is, turn it the wrong way around and blow. But remember, this spray was thoroughly washed before we started doing it. You must wash it just in case you suck instead of blowing. That's all nice and clean, so we'll just wipe the pipe both ends. Now this here was actually, I think they put it together while it was still hot because there's no chance you can get that off, but you can see it's clear. And then that goes on there. The little filter goes on that end and then that's complete. But we need to start on the actual lance head if you like. We'll take that off. That should be the same as that end sealed by them you see. It won't come out so there's not a lot you can do for that. But you can undo the next one. Now on the knapsack sprayers you actually got a filter that goes in there so you could have pulled that out and cleaned it. On these smaller ones you don't get one so you just clean the thread up best you can. Leave that nice and tight in case we forget. So that's all we can do for that. The sprayer itself we can take that off. It'll be protected with an o-ring again I would say. Now it's just pushing one, but you can see how dirty it is, look. So we'll see if we can clean that a little bit. You could actually clean it with a bit of wire wool, but it feels smooth enough, so there's no, and it doesn't leak, so that'll be fine. This end, this is the nozzle that makes the spray. That's got an O-ring on it, as you see. If that goes, easily replace. If you buy an O-ring set, all these little ones are in it. Now, same as we did with that filter. If I hold it up to the light and look through, you can see if anything is in there. You see that there? That was in there, you see? So it was worth cleaning out. Just let me have another look. Yeah, that's perfectly clean. That's nice and clean. So that can go back on. If I put it there, I might lose it. So that's that one done. I'll pop that on. No O-rings or anything on there. If you wish, you could polish that with some wire wool, but I'm thinking if you take it down too much, when you reassemble it, it will leak, so we don't want that. Yes. Right, now we've come to the valve piece itself. Now if you can see that, oh, let me hold it properly, that has got a little lever action that goes up and down that presses a, a on-off valve in there. 
Now to get that off, don't start twisting and pulling and going to. If you put it full on, a pair of pliers, and all you do is you put it on that little pin in the middle like that and push like that till it pops out then carefully use the pliers again and pull it out all the way see it like that put that safe then this should come off there you are and you can see the dirt that's in there look clean every bit as we do it before I put it back I'll give all these a wash anyway put it safe and now we can look into this now clean that so we take this off this will be spring loaded what forces that back so there will be a spring somewhere there it is there's a little washer in there as well look. take that out put it safe and then that should come out there you are see push that down with pliers there's the o-ring there's three on that just let me dry them so you can see them a bit better there's three o-rings on that you see so if you've got one of those broken your sprayer will leak but easily replaced they're in the kit little tiny o-rings like that so you should be able to do it and just wipe that nice and then in the box for safe we'll clean this although it's not really dirty but we'll clean it anyway now it's clean we'll put that in the box as well and that leaves us now with the unit this doesn't come apart anymore now but you can see there's another o-ring inside there that could be replaced and we know there's not one in there because we took that off we'll just clean that That's nice and clean. If you look down there, if I put some white at the back, you might be able to see. There's a, a tube that goes down there. Make sure that's nice and clean as well. That's where the valve goes up and down. That's it. Now it's all taken apart. I should just wash this bottle top with some water properly. All right, we'll just clean this up with a, a wet cloth with a little bit of soap in it. You won't get every mark off, but it looks cleaner. For for the service. Right, that's those two bits clean. We'll clean the table and now we'll reassemble. We'll start putting it back together again. If you remember, this was in there. And like that. And that popped up there like that. Then we had the spring went on there. And then this make sure the o-rings are all in place when you do it that goes on there like that you see screw it till it stops but don't over tighten it then if you remember we took this off the top Ooh. 
which was like, sorry, which was like that. And if you do it so you can see the hole, and then get the little plastic piece, don't lose that, I should be. That's it. That goes in there, upside down, I think. That's it, that goes in there. Then I just press it home with the pliers. I don't pinch it. Make sure this side's central. Then use the side of the plier just to push it in like that, look. So it goes right through and the even both sides, yeah? Then when you pull it back, you'll be able to up and down it because that's the lock forward that keeps it on all the time. Now we'll put the, we'll put the valve in that we've cleaned. There is an O-ring up there and a seal ring as well, just to keep your eye on. And that just goes in there and lock it, but not over tight. We can put the takeout pipe in. There it goes. And what I find with this, if you turn the whole lot, it turns on better. Once you've got it on, he says, then turn the whole thing. There you go. There is no movement in that top, so you have to move the whole pipe round. That's the only, the only one you might have a bit of trouble with. And then again, lock but not over tight. It goes on there. We'll do put the valve on next. That the O-ring is in there, not in place. And we'll just screw that on. Till it locks, not over tight. Check that one, that's fine. Now this is the lance, which is here. Although it's got white on it, it is very smooth and clean, so we'll pop that in. All the way till it sits down to the bank, then put that on. And the bend wants to be away from the head. There you are, so that's done. Lock it, but don't over tighten. Then we need to put the cover back on. You find that that goes opposite that, look like that. It goes the same way, sorry, as that pipe. So you put that on, making sure you've got everything in proper, and click it. That's that on. Then put the pump back in, screw it down, check it. I can see the pressure going up and I can hear the pressure going out. I will test it in a moment, but it's just starting to rain so. We'll have a moment and then we'll come back out when it stops raining. Now, I've put a drop of water in it. I've put four litres in it to bring it up, then it's a bit less pumping to get it to, to run. Not the best of positions to fill in the spray. But as you can see there, look, as you can see the pressure bar indicator's working all right, so we have that on. We'll just test the safety valve. That's working all right. Pump a little bit more in so we can lock it down. And then here's the main test, whether it sprays out. Can you see? Yes, that's working fine, look, full spray. And if we turn it down, we can have fine and uh, 
I'll just release that a bit. The valve is working very efficiently, look. So it's well worth a few minutes just to give them a clean. That's all ready now to do its next job. I have two actually. The other one is the one I use mainly, believe it or not, for putting soap on aphids, but that's down the other shed so we'll leave that one and just show you this one but it's basically the same it's actually a different make but everything's the same on it so that's your sprayer done uh, do have a go at cleaning it it'll work a lot more efficient if you give it a clean and if you've got a block valve and just want a little o-ring it can save you a fair amount of money as well now that'll be it for now, I hope you've enjoyed it and just starting to rain a little so the timing's good this one. Have a good week, we'll see you in the next few days because we've still got loads of harvesting to do. See you shortly everyone, bye now.